Hello everyone, this is the Brush Prince. So we're in our Tolo Arena video this time. I'm playing as Germanicus again with one Eagle Cohort and two Palatini. Joining me we have Mercurius, uh, Wicked Pirate, and last but not least, Duck. Now let's see what we can do up here with our uh, good old units. We're gonna send to the fight. Let's see what they're gonna do for the glory of Rome. Maybe good things, maybe bad things. As you can see, these guys are medium compared to Eagle Cohorts, which are heavy, so they're like slightly faster. Slightly. But just enough. Alright, so I've got my heavy infantry charge in like three seconds. This is great. I'm gonna continue sending up my troops and we'll see how we're gonna deal with things. Just keep moving forward and just destroy this guy in melee. It's gonna be what I want to do here. Yeah, it doesn't have a strong vengeance like mine, so he's going down fast. Might as well charge through my own unit because, hey, the friendly fire is not that severe. Oh god. There is this though. That charge kind of. Uh, did quite a bit of damage to me as you can see I didn't really do friendly fire recharging through my own unit That's something to keep in mind but yeah here I am actually killing all these units slowly but surely That's for sure look I just destroyed this, these units very very nicely so this unit hasn't done much against me so to speak Did get a charge, I guess, but it didn't really do much, it seemed. It seems rather, yeah. I don't know why, I just didn't get any assistance here again. But I'm fighting in the blob. Well, I was fighting in the blob, because now I'm just gonna die, because, yeah, this unit is gone here. Ooh, and Pirate got engaged here, but he was able to stop the enemy in time. Must fight. Uh, but it looks like I did get 4k points right before dying, so wasn't the worst deaths ever. And Pirate is holding here and doing a lot of work here with his hold the line and shield bash. As you can see, both on level 10, which helps a lot. Oh, now our the artillery shells are just doing so much damage here. I think they he activated that ability, which like destroys his. Uh, units over time but gives them melee attack now the sticker band here is still hanging on really really nicely as you can see just doing so much work overall also with the assistance of this sacred band at the moment that's some uh, nice stuff going on over there I mean just look at it just destroying the enemy here very well done these sacred band can't ask for much more from them. They're just gonna hold and hold and hold and hold and even kill with the ability of shield bash. And I mean, hold the line is just such a good ability now compared to how it was before. I and mean, before it was okay-ish, but now it's quite amazing. Uh, it looks like we are actually winning. There's an engagement over here, which should be able to win if. The heavy unit here could engage in the open and then do very nice work. Uh, here though, is uh, the artillery trying to fire upon the enemy. Khrusho is trying to pull out, which means that he's just gonna die. He should just engage this blob and then activate Vengeance. Accurate smoke here doing a lot of damage. 
And Pirate's got his Cretans targeting the enemy with the ledge stuff, but still, I've gotten enough points to essentially make me happy. But here, uh, there's uh, gonna be something happening here. The Scythians here are targeting Ducks, uh, Peltests, Light Peltests rather, and doing some damage, but again, they're Scythians, not something like Cretans. If it was Cretans, goodbye Light Peltests, but not really Cretans. Is an engagement over here? Not quite sure why Naden is doing, but hey, okay. If he goes for a nice heavy infantry charge here, should do a lot of work. I mean, he's gonna get some points for sure now in this blob. I don't know if he has vengeance activated uh, or if he's pulling through. He was pulling through at some point, but no longer it seems. So the scav unit here is gonna run straight into stakes, so you have to pull it out here. <clears throat> Might as well start using this. Okay, why send them there? Specifically? Okay, just have to stay engaged here, cannot afford to pull out. Because, I mean, yeah, it's heavy against heavy. If we were light or medium, we would have done better in this scenario, but Mercurius is just gonna. Target this unit, gonna do damage to it, because I mean, no friendly fire as well, because it's not really engaged at the moment. The Rodians here will do very, very well for him. Ooh, here's some uh, nice uh, rear sh fila shots, though. Still some uh, stuff happening over here, too. As you can see, the legionary cav getting shot at. But not taking much damage from the Rodians, as you can see. So they're firing slightly uphill and I mean yeah they're tickling the unit but not really killing it. Yes, That's why the, the foot companions need to be here. Still Palatini over there. Those Palatini could die to the Rodians though. Oh, and I'm not sure what Dark Armorel did here but Mercurius is gonna destroy him with uh, this unit. You destroy my Caltrops, but I forgive you. Oh, Mercurius did get charged here. Not great for him. <laughs> okay. Ah, we still have a huge man advantage over them. And actually, they do have more points than us. But that's mostly because we have a CPU on our team, I would say. But yeah, we have uh, Manavar going up here. Going for a rear charge onto our W. Our W player definitely going well here. Very nicely done here with the shield bash should help out Duck. But oh, now he's gonna pull out. But pulling out is gonna lose a lot of men. This unit's still gonna live, but hmm, I wonder if he well, if he just stayed in the fight, this Palatini would have killed him. So I guess pulling out here is okay. As he didn't lose that much, so to speak. As long as they lose all the missiles gonna be fine for us we still have six minutes left in which time we have to kill them nice charge here now we need to kill the rest which Mercurius is gonna deal with he's gonna do his hold the line shenanigans here there they go Ooh, he did take significant casualties though and now these Palatini are gonna chase him off and firing Fila at him so he needs to pull back and the cavalry is gonna be like hello I'm not sure what Manavar is doing, because if he actually follows the cavalry, then I guess he's counting, but he needs to be careful, because if he abandons Mercurius, then the cavalry can get around and completely stomp him. So it looks like Dark Animal is trying to get away with his cavalry, which is obviously a really good choice, but I mean, we'll see for how long he can... Uh, do that. It looks like he did get around, but he does ha doesn't have a charge yet, I believe. Looks like he's gonna follow this unit because it's in the open. Yeah, this one's easy to kill. Uh, we still have a man advantage, but in terms of points, not doing so hot at the moment. We have Crucio pulling, pushing forward. If those artillery units die, it's good game. We still have players in the base. Oh, we need to kill those guys. Looks like Wick Pirates gonna get so many points from killing Taharka's uh, artillery. It's gonna be good for him, for sure. 
Goodbye to Harka. Alright. Let's see. Ready for orders. Yeah, but Pirate here is just doing. It's gonna do a lot of damage here. As you can see, he's engaging the uh, the Harkas Ritiarius. Should do well with the Sacred Band, unless the Ritiarius are an oath. So if they are, good luck killing those Sacred Band. I mean, good luck killing the Ritiarius if they're an oath. However, one thing about Leonidas is that he has Shield Bash, which, I mean, if you think about it, it's not really a big deal if you're using oath if. Uh, since Sacred Band have their good old uh, shield bash, so to speak. So, yeah. If you think about it that way, even in Oath, I'd say that the uh, Sacred Band would win against the Red Yarius. But, you know, it's Leonidas. I mean, he's really strong in melee, even in the forest, actually. Now he's gonna get rear charged, but we'll see. Because, I mean, hold the line, so good luck charging it, even with Proven Warriors. As you can see though, now with Pirate's gonna deal with this Proven Warrior unit. With some nice shield bash, he's actually hitting some of his own men, but... Oh well, it happens. Now we still don't have the man advantage. I mean, the points advantage, because... Uh... But looks like he's going to feed himself to the enemy. So, yeah. About us having more points than them. Well, that's suddenly out of the game because they just killed a lot of uh, our guys. Yeah. So, suddenly, even though we have more men, just because we have one guy who. Uh, yeah. Who disconnected, I mean. Yeah, one guy who disconnected is just looking really bad. And now Uzi, I don't know what he's doing. He should have just decrewed his artillery and ran away, but that's not what he did. Alright. So just cap as fast as possible in two minutes, and then we will have the game, I think. Oh. Oh. He went to the toilet, okay. That would explain some things actually then. That would certainly explain some things. But yeah, we're nearly done now. Ooh, he's actually killing the artillery crew, which I mean I guess is obviously good, but I think they've lost actually. Unless they happen to have some units here in the back in which we lost. So yeah. Let's see, so here this blob is engaging. We're definitely gonna lose on points if it comes to that, so we have to cap. It's all or nothing. It's a cap or it's nothing. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna cap quite fast as well. Yeah, it's going up really, really fast. 74, 75, 76, 77, 78. Yeah, we've got this. We're just gonna win on cap. Which, you know, is, is okay. Rather than no win. It's terrible daily for Crucio though, but whatever. <laughs> we got the victory, and that's basically what's important. To get the victory. So let's see how much I got. I believe this was a daily for me, so I should have gotten a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, daily commander victory this is amazing so yeah hope you all enjoyed don't forget to comment rate and subscribe follow me on facebook twitter and google plus share the video i'll see you next time